vistas are absolutely stunning. Behind me, the hillsides that look as if they've been combed, in fact, are extensive olive plantations. There's olives everywhere here, but gee, even the weeds on the roadside verges and so on are stunning. The red poppies, some of these architecturally magnificent thistles and so on, they might be weeds to the Spanish, but to a traveler, they really are quite inviting. And in case you're wondering what that motory sort of noise is in the background, it's poor soils and very, very steep country here. And uh, the farmers actually work much of the land with bulldozers because it's too steep even for tractors. The red poppies are everywhere along the roadsides here, but there's extensive fields of them going off amongst the plantations and so on. And of course, these are the same red poppies that grew in areas like Flanders and so on, and that are such, well, a precious memory, I suppose, for the Australian diggers, because they certainly saw many of these when they were in France. But before we leave this little roadside verge, just have a look at the wonderful mountains in the background with all the snow and so on. It's the sort of vista that we're simply not used to in Australia. We're here in the township of Luque, which is just outside of Cordoba in the hills. The area is surrounded by olive trees. There's a wonderful old fort and church here. And just as we speak, there's a funeral going on. This is a very traditional village. Everybody knows each other here. Rows of white houses, narrow, narrow streets. And of course, the church is the center of the town. So obviously a funeral is a, is a very important thing in this tiny township. <laughs> While the township itself is very tiny and obviously not a particularly rich township, the church is a giant one, fantastically decorated inside. And of course, up on top of the hill there, you can see the remains of the fort. The priorities in times gone by were obviously quite different. This was a vulnerable area. Obviously, everybody would shoot up there into the fort when things got grim. And when things got even grimmer, I suppose, you went into the church to talk to the Almighty. This is a very traditional village and certainly very fascinating. Here in Luque, the pace of life is rather slow, but sitting at watching the old men sitting around and relaxing, having a good time, you really start to wonder whether we've got it right or perhaps they've got it right. Life here is, I think, very good. Perhaps the slower pace and the manana atmosphere of this town is best summed up by the clock on the wall of the church tower over there. It's a sundial and they put it on the shady side of the tower so that it never tells the time. And the bells rang. Well, it's not too bad actually. They rang two minutes and 43 seconds late. So what's it like living here? Hmm? Do you like here? Is it good? Mm -hmm.